Hello, everybody. This is Aaron Percival, a.k.a. Corporal Hicks. And this is Adam Zeller, a.k.a. Ridgetop. And thank you for joining us for our Alien Day debrief. Very I'm belated. Late. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in all fairness, I was in a hotel in the Dominican Republic on Alien Day, and it was very dodgy. Mm. Sipping very margaritas. I was on mojitos. Actually. Oh, yeah? I was, I was, was, that, mojitos your, and was that your drink kick? Yeah. I haven't had too many mojitos. Usually margaritas are my go-to if I'm uh, in a tropical setting. I like the minty. I like the mint. I had I had so many mojitos. The the girl that was walking around the the pool, you know, every time um she come to us, she'd be like mojito for me, and then the last was on a Bob Marley. Was what she had. Bob Marley. Yeah, G- Google that after because it just seemed right. to be a lot of different slushies with a rum in it. It was wonderful. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, we were recording this mid May. And again, that's still a couple more weeks, but this this month has been a nightmare for organization uh, for us, hasn't it? You know, yeah, you've been just... traveling, I've been traveling. I'm doing something every weekend pretty much this month and been very busy. But I wanted to do a little something, at least, as of recording. I still haven't decided if this is a motion tracker or if this is a podcast. Uh, I'll decide after we're done. But you know, I did, I did want to just spend some time talking about what we learned on alien day um, what we got up to if anything um obviously hang on i was i was sat in a hotel room glued to my laptop for mine but uh, adam will, will talk about the uh the screenings so would you even class anything as big news from this year well i don't know yeah i listened to um perfect organisms little recap of of alien day uh and they sounded pretty disappointment from like the pretty disappointed from like the studio side of things and i think we share that disappointment um because yeah it it does feel like you have a movie coming that's just a few months away you have a tv series that's filming in thailand as we speak it's like i don't know if no holly's even aware of alien day or anything but it's like couldn't you have like anything from that i get they probably don't want to steal the thunder from romulus or or whatever um but just like so, um, just like fede has been doing you know like just a, a little picture from the set or something a something ca- for candid, fans yeah a candid snap of, of something cool you know last year we got well it was our first genuine real look at romulus wasn't it, it was a look at the face of it mm-hmm. so at least it was something last year yeah they had a lot of the filming for romulus locked down um I mean, most of it took place on sound stages in Budapest, was Budapest. it? Yeah. And I guess that's the same with Thailand. Um, there's a big soundstage studio there where they're doing a lot of the Alien series. And we only know it's filming in Thailand because the cast are in Thailand. So, <laughs> Yeah, it was disappointing from an official side, it's got to be said. Um, you know, we got a, a few little bits. Fede shared a again candid little video of of the R, the remote controlled, radio controlled. Does RC technically stand yeah. for? Yeah, uh, radio controlled remote. Yeah, radio, well, yeah. probably remote controlled now. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, but the, yeah, the, that was little, that was cool to see. Yeah, just um, walking around the the set, and you know that was what like ten seconds with the footage, and uh, Fede then later on shared another picture of pretty much the wow. exact same thing that he did last year of a face hugger wrapped around the clapboard. Different Except hallway. This time it was on, I presume, the other part of the station. So obviously we know Romulus is made up of... Um... No, it's not Romulus. It's the Renaissance station is made up of the Romulus and the Reese um, and the Remus, Remus yeah. um, stations. Well, the date from that clapboard was Alien Day last year. So I wonder mm-hmm. if he wanted to release something and they were like, okay, you get to release one or something. <laughs> maybe he wanted to do multiple. I don't know. Or maybe he just did it in advance for next year. Um, but it's nice to see that, you know, Fide knows about Alien Day and wants to give the fans something at least that's definitely appreciated. Um, I do feel like the Servios news, it was just good to have an acknowledgement that that game 
still around. I mean, we had seen a well, couple. It was a like, proper announcement. It's more than just an acknowledgement. Yeah, we know it's coming this year. Um, it was just nice to see it because it. When did they announce that? Was it like a couple years ago at this point? Yeah, it was. It was um, a while back now. So yeah, and we had there had been some like game developers conferences where they had mentioned it, so we knew it wasn't like abandoned or anything. Um, July twenty twenty two. Okay, so yeah, a couple, a couple of years. Um, had a name drop, uh, Alien Rogue Incursion? Incursion, Okay, yeah. and that's interesting because it, the original announcement, it was under the Aliens kind of branding. Mm-hmm. Because um, it was, so, yeah. yeah, it was just a generic image of, um, we don't even know if it's from the games engine, to be fair, of uh, Aliens coming out of, you know, the, the steamy mist in an industrial sort of looking corridor with purely aliens um, as the logo. Uh, so, yeah, we've rebranded to Alien. How do you feel about the game? Uh, well, not that we know much about the game. Yeah. Because the, the trailer, the announcement trailer was no oh, well, footage. Yeah, it was just kind of a slow pan on the, the on title the imagery. Up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll have to see how that, you know ends up being I it is interesting cool. because it is an Unreal Engine 5 game in VR. Um I know there's some confusion because two years ago when they did the announcement the wording made it seem like it would be VR optional. Um but there was no mention of that here. So we still have yet to find out if this is gonna require VR or if that'll just be like well the, an additional the... feature. The trailer and the announcements have straight up said it's coming to PlayStation VR 2, Steam VR, and MetaQuest 3. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it seems like this is a VR title. How do you feel about that? I mean, as long as it's good, I've played some really awesome VR games. I have a Gen 1 Oculus Rift, so that's still compatible with Steam VR, so I'll be able to pick this up when it does drop. Um, there are some awesome VR games. Robo Recall was one of my favorites. That was a really good one. So if this is with the latest Unreal Engine and they really play up the horror element, I think it could be awesome. As long as it feels like a full-fledged game and not just like a short experience, then we'll be like, okay, this we've waited this long for this. Um, I know there were a couple Jurassic World kind of survival horror VR games that came out, um, and those looked pretty good. Graphics were a little eh, pretty stylized, but I'm hoping with this one, again, with Unreal Engine, that it it looks great and it's scary. And if it does that and if it feels substantial enough, I think it, it could be really good. VR, it's in a weird place right now because it's still not very accessible to people. A lot of that is due to pricing. Um, the PlayStation VR 2 costs more than the PlayStation 5. Yeah, they need to, they need to bring that price down because it's not selling for sony um i've read reports that are showing it's been underperforming so i'm hoping that in june it's usually when they do all the big you know video game press conferences and stuff they announce a, a lower price for psvr2 because it's just too high and that's why it's not selling um i haven't tried the MetaQuest myself i was always a little salty after they acquired oculus because i liked the whole connected to the pc thing but i guess you can still do that with the meta quest i'm not fully up to date on on what facebook is doing with that but um i'm still very much looking forward to it uh it was a bit disappointing that there were no other game announcements i mean we know cold iron's working on something and we're we're feeling it's probably alien um so to see nothing from that yeah we we remember the leaks by tom henderson um mm -hmm. that there was another survival horror game coming um, that Isolation 2 had been pitched at one point. So, and I guess we've just been conditioned by those earlier Alien days, right? 2016, 2017, and even 2019 for the 40th anniversary, uh, where there's just a ton of merchandise announcements. The social media channels are sharing people's stuff left and right. They're just far more active. It just feels like everything has to go through more approvals now. Because the socials on both the Alien and Predator side of things are way less active than they were pre-acquisition. Uh -huh. um, so that is a little disappointing to see. It's like, give give your social 
media team a, a little bit more freedom, maybe. That's how I feel about it. What do you think? Well, j- just to go back to Rogue Incursion to start with. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I went um, off on a whole thing there, but I I have I have likewise a, a Gen 1 Oculus. I have a PlayStation VR 1. Um, both of which I brought for cheap and is the only reason I own them. <laughs> I brought them for cheap second hand. Um, but I have been saying since the first time I got to try Isolation on the Mother VR mod how fucking awesome it would be for Alien to have a game built for VR built from the ground up. You know, if Isolation was that good just as an aftermarket mod done by, you know, modders, not an official release, was that good, just imagine how atmospheric, how frightening, um, how immersive a proper, you know, not necessarily a triple A title, but, you know, a double A title um, could be. Um, but. <sighs> It's like you said, I, it seems like VR is really inaccessible in general at the minute because I've seen so many people just complaining that it's it's a VR title. Yeah. So on the one hand, I'm like, yes, I've been asking for this um, and I'm really excited for it. Fortunately, um, <clears throat> because I have that Gen 1 Rift and I can play this, you know, I was looking at the, at the PlayStation VR 2 but then when I saw the prices, I was like, oh, it's going to depend how bad my Rift 1 is <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as, as to whether I'm going to do, you know, be that stupid. Um, but I, I am really excited just at the basic concept of, of the game. Um, I'd like to see, you know, I'd like to see some genuine gameplay you know, and some in-game sort of footage because... My experience with VR titles hasn't been, you know, they haven't looked great. I don't, I don't know if we're past that point, or maybe I was just trying a few years ago. But like even things like the the predator, the footage we've seen of Predator VR, um, some of the I can't remember the name of the game I played it, but it was like some PlayStation VR thing where you were shooter, and it was like some mafia or gang thing. I can't remember where it was, but it looked very cartoony, and it didn't, it didn't look great. Um, so, and of course we've got the in utero, uh, alien covenant that, VR experience. Yeah. You, that was, that was a VR video. That was less than a minute. You can't really count that as anything. <laughs> I think. Well, um, I mean, you get my point though, don't you? We don't know just how it's going to look. We don't know what the experience yeah. is going to be like. We don't even know if it's going to match, um, isolations, graphical fidelity. Well, Unreal, so. Unreal Engine 5 is impressive. I believe this is... Is that the current one? Yeah, it's pretty hmm. recent, like last few years. Um, I believe this is Servios' first title in the engine. Um, I know they did a uh, Creed boxing game before that looked pretty decent. I think the reviews were, were more positive. Um, I've seen VR games and I've played VR games that are that are really impressive. I mean, hell, we played isolation in VR. Like, it can be done, right? Um, and there's VR modes for other games like Ace Combat or like Star Wars Squadrons, where graphically they're they're quite impressive. So you do have impressive looking VR games, and I think with Alien, it's got to look good. It's got to look scary if you're going to convince fans to spend money on a VR device they might not have, which is why. I feel it's always a better idea to make the VR optional. Uh, Resident Evil games have done this very well. Resident Evil 7 did it. Uh, Resident Evil Village has done it. More recently, RE4 has done it. Those are some of the best horror games in VR, and VR is all optional on those. And if we ever did get an isolation re-release remaster, which we're due for because it's 10 years now, (laughs) wild to think about that, but I would love... Because that VR mode was in development at some point. It was being considered for that game. like Not with any seriousness, though. That's the thing we've got to remember. It was really? Just I thought the mod yeah. had kind of unlocked a, like something that was already there with that. They, they'd they been dicking around with it. Okay. I think, did they maybe show well, it off at one of the... 
conventions. It plays really well in VR isolation. Oh, definitely. You know, like, like, like I was saying, the, the the mother mod. Yeah. So that, that that was the moment where I was like, "Holy shit, we need a game built for the yeah." For VR we know it can be done. Up. And again, one of the best alien experiences I've ever had was VR. Was that descent attraction that was so freaking cool? Um, I'm still jealous you got to do that. Yeah, and and that's a outside. that's a whole thing with being in a physical environment. That's not, you know, VR is immersive. It's not that immersive when you're like actually moving around and feeling environmental effects and stuff. It adds a whole new layer to it. Um, but VR is pretty immersive. Like playing isolation in VR was an intense experience. I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, so if they can capture that feeling, I think they could have a hit on their hands. Oh, definitely. I have a lot of confidence in the concept, so that's why I'm like, I was a little disappointed not to see any in-game footage, uh, especially again yeah. since it's been two years uh, since the announcement. But no, I. I'm very excited to learn more about this game. Like, really, really excited to um, see it in action. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully soon. June is is typically a big month for video game reveals, um, stuff like that. So if it is coming this year, I would expect maybe we'll see something next month. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, but in, in regards to what you were saying earlier, as to being conditioned to good alien days... I think we've had more bad ones than good ones. But the thing was, (laughs) the thing was, the good ones were good, man. Yeah. You know, even, so the 2016 one, you know, all we got from Covenant was just a behind the scenes. Still, it was just a They dropped some, like, renders of the ship as well, like these gifts of the hallway of the ship. I don't you don't remember that? I yeah, remember that. it it was it just like a it wasn't much. No, I mean there was a lot of merchandise reveals. But I think the the good things we got there was I think we got the the first um, audio drama. I think that was the first audio drama we got. Was... We should we should have gone back and looked at like Alien Day twenty sixteen <laughs> twenty seventeen. See all the announcements. Oh, he's, looking. Just, he's looking. I, I am looking. Uh, <laughs> 2016, yeah. So it was the first, you know, it was that first alien, official Alien Day. And that was a big release. I mean, I feel like it was a big release. You know, it was our first proper audio drama. It came with a bunch of, um, you know, they weren't big budget trailers. You know, we weren't seeing alien suits running around everywhere. But there was, there was little... A sort of viral kind of marketing sort of fluff uh, trailers were of the miners and things like that so it still felt like even if perhaps we didn't get much of covenant we still got a nice chunk we got a good meaty release i just found and... our old our old roundup and yeah there was you know they had competitions um giveaways the Reebok Stompers, I believe that was the first year they they did that, right? And how the fuck did we not get Reebok Stompers this year after well, they, Reebok Tweet? They teased it. Yeah, they I teased know. it. So <laughs> maybe like... they're timing it with, I don't know, maybe the anniversary of the... the that's the thing. The 45th anniversary of Alien is coming up um, June, right? Yeah, the movie came out in June, I think. It was pretty close to Predator. So anyway, I know it's June. Um, so maybe they're saving some stuff for the anniversary itself. Maybe in the UK it was. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> no, because it premiered at the Egyptian, didn't it? Oh, no, no. It was It was May. May 25th for Alien. Really? Oh. Yeah. Mm, my bad. Um, but yeah, they, they teased something like they were going to drop more shoes and then they never did. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> is it coming with Romulus? Is it? So I don't know. I want to buy them this time. I've I missed out before. And they've but... done, you know, they've done a few variants, so it's mm. it we got some announcements, but there was fuck all to it. You know, no teasers, no real silhouettes or anything. So we got what N- Necker and uh Prime One are doing Romulus some Romulus though. stuff. Yeah. Um I I they kind of maybe teased that it was probably facehugger related, which isn't surprising considering um, what we've seen of Romulus so far. There is very much an emphasis on on the baby 
uh, the baby stage. <laughs> but, you know, no, it was just like text-based trailers. It was, it was naff all, really. Yeah. I know some were hoping for a bit of a longer um, teaser, some sort of new trailer clip for uh, Romulus. Um, I'll get to that as well with the, with the screening I went to. Um, but yeah, just going back to 2016 real quick. Um, Rage Rage War Two came out on Alien Day 2016. The, the yeah, okay. Um, Aliens versus Pinball came out. Uh, Dark Horse released an oversized hardcover edition of Aliens 30th Anniversary. Um, out of the Shadows audio drama, like you said, derelict spaceship statue, Hollywood collectibles. Aliens 30th Anniversary Loot Crate is accepting orders. I forgot about that. Standard edition of Waylon Yutani Report. Fright Rags will have an exclusive Aliens t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Cavity Colors did have some some merch this year. Mm. So that was good to see. Um, Super 7 had new figures. Mondo had some stuff. T-shirts, prints, uh, new vinyl. Hollywood collect, uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Haya Toys had stuff. Kotobukiya revealed their Alien 3 dog statue. Those are the best alien figures of all time, the Kotobukiya little statues. I, ne- I never need got to bring them. this back. Um, yeah, so now. it just seemed like there was a lot more yeah. merchandise. Um, in 2017, I think we can say that was the biggest alien day we've ever mm-hmm. had. 20, I'd say, I'd say 2019 was probably the second biggest, honestly, for the 40th anniversary. Because there, mm. I remember there being like, they had the shorts, right? And they had... And those were fucking brilliant. Yeah. So... I'm uh, under the third of the audio drama. Yeah. More books. I mean, even that we were supposed to... I think we were supposed to get Alien on Civil War this year, and it got pushed back. <laughs> yeah. And the encyclopedia was supposed to come out on Alien Day. That got pushed back. Well, that's been pushed back 3,000 times. <laughs> yeah. What's happening with that one? <laughs> So it did feel Man. like, guys, you got a movie coming out in August. Like, let's let's you know play this up a bit more. Um, well, it wasn't know. wasn't the one original thing that we got this year. The the talk a bit lackluster, anyway. The conversation. Yeah. Okay, so that was one cool thing is they did bring Alien back to to cinemas uh, in the U.S. Select U.S. Wide, cinemas. Wide, yeah. It wasn't even a wide release. Well, it was you wide know. in the U.S. It was pretty much most major theater chains in the U.S. But I have and a few... Australia got it as well. Sorry. Yeah. I have a few U.K. friends uh, who were like, why is this not in the U.K.? Because um, we always is... do it. Every, every year, we always get some chains doing them. And, and the previous showings, you know, like uh, 20... 2017 where the i think it was 2017 where we got the covenant footage uh in between you know we got all that stuff so anyway sorry continue yeah. so it it's like i mean yeah it is good that you get more screenings than we do but um it's always nice when it's like an event like that i really appreciated it in 2017 where they showed off the covenant footage they had these cool like limited edition tickets you could get at regal um oh yeah with dane hallett's um funky alien dreadlock and so with this one they had i wish they would have had posters because i know the new poster is pretty much just like a new take on the original Mm -hmm. but it is i don't know i thought it was pretty cool looking and i think the um the artist did a post about that that we reshared um so i i liked the new little twist on the classic poster that was nice to see um but yeah, we, I was very curious as to what on Romulus we would be seeing because a number of theater chains had advertised a special look at Romulus featuring a conversation with Ridley Scott and Fede Alvarez. And, and at first I was like, oh, it'll be just like Covenant. They're just going to show like a little clip from the movie, something that, that was probably shown at that recent CinemaCon or whatever. Yep. So we, um, we already know they've been showing off at least two scenes um, at various events. You know, we had, like Adam said, CinemaCon, which was start of april somewhere around there mm-hmm. and then that same footage appears to have since been shown at ccxp in mexico so yeah we expected that footage to get reused yeah but it was not uh it was admittedly it was a fun conversation with uh ridley scott and uh fede alvarez um which was leaked so you can see it even if you missed out on the uh 
that theatrical run. Um, and it it was a fun any, conversation. Any highlights? Um, just a lot of Fede asking Ridley about how Alien was and and the reception to it back in the day and how they were worried it was too extreme. And he was like, oh, well, that's a good thing. Um, so it was fun. They When they got to Romulus, they just showed, uh, Fede talked about it a little bit, and they just showed little tiny snippets of new footage on the set, which was cool to see. Um, it looked like we got a brief glimpse at uh, the colony because one of those locations definitely seemed like an outdoor area with doors and stuff. Um, did you notice that, Aaron, or no? I'm just popping back onto the website to have a look at the, um, the pictures. So I I it shared some bits. It was, yes, it was appreciated and nice to see some more little snippets of Alien. And, you know, people complain there's not enough marketing until the month before, and then they just blast all the marketing, and everyone's like, it's too it much. To, You're showing the whole movie. seems to be the way these days, isn't it? There's no, you know, we, we used to have like a year of, of teasers and little bits of promotion. And I don't even, we, we know that they've had press on set for the TV show, but I can't remember if we've seen them having press on set for uh, for Romulus. You know, that used to be a big thing. We all used to look excited, um, you know, be excited for and, and look forward to is all these press uh, studio tours and set visits. And, you know, it doesn't even seem like that's that much of a thing anymore. Well, it's, like you said, they just did it for the series in Thailand. So that made me kind of hope for something for alien day mm. from that. But it's interesting because they've had all these outlets in Thailand, like to see the Not set us. of alien. So where, where, where is it? Where's our invite? That's right. Well, we probably, I don't know. Maybe they didn't like that. We dropped that concept art. Um, but with, with Romulus, I was expecting a little bit more, but at the same time, I think it's just because, attention spans are so short these days, man. And there's so much content to choose from that. These studios are probably trying to seize their moment, like right around release. I have no, I I have no doubt that is exactly why we've had this shift in promotion behavior. You know, it is a month of intense promotion. Get your initial couple of weekends or a couple of weeks of um, views as it were for, for prey and then move on. And it's a fucking absolute disappointment. But that's just the way of things now. But yeah. Because yeah. we do enjoy the, you know, the hype. That's part of the whole fun is just that's, looking that's, forward to these movies for as long as we do. That is a, a part of fandom is, is the, you know, the hype train. So I still have fun memories of, you know, that first AVP. Oh, and the dude. hype train for that. The and... hype was unreal for the first AVP. See, that was wild because they released a video for that before they even started filming. Like they had Paul and Anderson the, doing the, the concept art, yeah. and the, I mean, they would not do that these days. I don't think. Um, I miss the early noughties. <clears throat> well, I'm the the noughties decade, should I say? But the noughties, the noughties, the nineties, noughties. I don't to 2000 to 2010. Okay. That must be a British thing. <laughs> You've not heard the noise. No. <laughs> I don't know what to say, brother. <laughs> um so yeah, I mean the trailer for Romulus is good. We got a couple extra shots in the Green Band trailer that's in theaters right now with Planet of the Apes, which is apparently doing really well. So hopefully that raises and awareness that, of that movie. That was on the front of Alien as well, weren't it? Yes, yeah. Although I I heard some screenings did not have that conversation at all. But yeah, the trailer and the conversation were in, were before my screening. Was that the first time you got to see the trailer on the big screen? Yes. Yeah. Still cool. Still cool. It's a great teaser. Yep. I just want to really see is. a little bit more. I have to wonder if perhaps we were going to get it on Alien Day. Yeah, but then, but then all the leaks forced some hands. Mm. Would Maybe. it have been better having it on Alien Day? Um, I don't know. 
I feel like some people were really fiending for that teaser and needed it to come out. Again, I feel like you could have done two teasers. You know, we had the same thing with AVP, right? That first teaser just showed some shadowy glimpse, glimpses the of the suits. And then you had another teaser that was that spliced in with some looks at new footage. Like you can do multiple teasers, you know, mm-hmm. but. Damp squib of a day. <laughs> Damp squib? Come on, you've heard that one, surely. Is, I mean, I know of squibs like in movie making, like the, the gun. No, I guess I haven't. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, it's in reference to the squibs, as in a damp squib is one of a squib, a squib that wouldn't go off. Oh, okay. So it's a squib that doesn't give you the, the proper blood splurt, not enough blood, right? Damp squib, a situation or event which is much less impressive than expected. Okay. Well, then, yeah. But I would say from the official side of things, yeah, I would put this year's Alien Day under under that, unfortunately. Um, but the thing that I really love about Alien Day the most, I guess, is seeing all the fan art that's put out, seeing the community celebrate mm-hmm. Alien Day. Um, again, for the second time, the Perfect Organism guys put out, um, or maybe, is this their third fan film? I don't know, but this they, one was... They did the Diary Vinaigrettes thing. They did. Was there something last year? Yeah. Yeah, they did one last year. Um, I can't remember what it was. I can't remember last year's production. Uh oh. Sorry, PO guys, if you're watching this. <laughs> I think Jamie directed the one last year, and then this year Christian directed it. You which talk was about. Called... You yeah, talk about this year, well, I'll have a so look. he doesn't feel as bad. Um, this year's was Alien Absolution, I believe, uh, and I thought Christian did a really good job directing that one. Um, again, the the model work by by Xander was really cool. Um, very Alien Isolation vibes, which I appreciated. All in all, yeah, a really cool little fan film, and uh, so it's uh, it was impressive and it's always nice to see that sort of stuff from the community. You know, it's nice to see them not get shut down by the studios (laughs) Um, because that has happened with a few in the past that we were looking forward to. Um, Which one was it? Alien Alien transmission. Okay. That's right. So transmission was was last year. Which was the the virus one. Now I'm looking at it. I think I remember. And this one's absolution. Absolution. And I think, Absolution is the best thing that they've um, they've produced, and PO fucking knocked it out of the park. It's got to be said, you know, they did some fantastic output this year, and they do every year. Um, to be fair, especially compared to what uh, what I manage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, don't get me wrong; I always try and get like somebody cool um to interview for the podcast but you know they they put like three or four things out and fan productions out it's like i talk about on the streams i'm not a finisher when it comes to creative stuff unfortunately um but yeah every time i see their lineups i'm like i'm fucking jealous of you guys i'm jealous <laughs> that you've got this this creative follow through um on on your stuff it is it is tricky to see film productions through to completion like i've been doing some filmmaking stuff with a local group around here called witching season films. And just, you don't realize even a small indie production, just everything that goes into getting that in front of people to be seen, like even just finding a, a distributor for a small film like that is like a feat. So um, yeah, props, props to the PO guys for putting out some really cool fan films. They hope they, they keep up that tradition. It'd be nice to see more from them. Um, and who knows, maybe eventually, Maybe eventually we'll have a little alien fan film of our own. We'll have to see. I really hope that comes through, you know. <laughs> especially, especially with what we've talked about. I've always wanted to make a fan film since I was a teenager. And mm-hmm. I feel like with some other people I've been working with lately that it could finally happen. So trying to make it happen. Cool. Anything anything else to really yeah, I mean, we did have, uh, again, like you said, uh, a podcast 
um, with Steve Perry. And mm-hmm. it was cool to talk to him because his book, AVP Prey, was something yeah, that, wasn't that really was, well I, I know, but still, just to talk to him, that being the first book I had ever read and being a core thing that got me into the franchises, it was just cool to, to talk to an author, you know, that has worked on the series like he has, that was instrumental in those first initial books. Um, and I think we're going to have him back to talk Predator and, and AVP. So I'm very much mm-hmm. looking forward to that discussion. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a really cool podcast. Uh, we also released some art um, to celebrate the upcoming 45th anniversary of Alien. Again, we commissioned uh, the fantastic artist, Hazel Gartz. I always love her work. Um, if you haven't seen her stuff, give her a follow. Uh, I believe she's mainly on X. I'm sure she's on like Tumblr and some other platforms, maybe Instagram as well. <laughs> Tumblr um, still exists. Tumblr still exists, believe it or not. Um, I thought they got rid of all the porn on it. I thought everybody just left it. They did, but then they, I think they eased up on that a little bit. <laughs> so people so, came back. <laughs> um, yeah, Tumblr never went away. Uh, it just kind of shot itself in in the foot a bit and uh, stumbled <laughs> around for a bit. And now is maybe finally regaining its footing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, her art is fantastic. We've had some people ask us about... Um, prints and stuff of some of the artwork we've had commissioned we're looking into doing that um i know we've already got approval from azel with that uh with some of the other other artists will be seeking it i know some will be possible others won't uh but that's something we are looking at doing this year is is finding a way to um to offer some of the artwork we've we've had done we need to make better use of the storefronts don't we yeah, and that's another thing we're going to be doing is kind of revitalizing our our storefronts with T Public. Um, we may awesome. also, yeah, we may be switching or looking into other options uh, as well. Um, I'm looking at having a, a pin made for our patrons this year. So, um, yeah, it's something that's definitely on the radar that that we're looking into doing this year. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, I'm wearing one of the shirts you can get from um, at public as it stands. Um, and we've got some exclusive artwork that was done for us as well a few years ago by um, Adam Mill. Civic? Uh, Mil- oh, I always fuck you up should on that. <laughs> Milicevic, I think. Milicevic. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's spelled different than it's pronounced. Which was uh, very cool. And he's a industry professional. Mm-hmm. So we've got industry professional artwork on on shirts for um for folk. And to be you know, Jamie suggested we should do some of Azel Azel Logs artwork on shirts. Yeah. So we, we, we're looking I at meant, it. I meant I meant to speak to you about that one actually. Just just fade, just fade it out nicely. That's all you need to do. <laughs> but well, you know, that's that's something for the future. Yeah. And as of recording, I just posted uh, May's uh, first episode, or potentially only episode of podcast, um, which was your favorite recording we've ever done. Not ever done, but favorite recording we've done so far this year. Oh, this year, okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant it was like one of your favorites we'd we'd done full stop. I mean, it's uh, it's up there. I thought it was a cool discussion, but I I said this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm sorry for the clarification. But yeah, I mean, that was a really fun fucking episode. Yeah. Challenged a lot of views, and um, it's always cool to talk to Alex Why? Oh, yeah. Alex is, is always great. Uh, this is the first time I have been able to chat with them on the podcast. I know you've been on some podcasts with them before. so Yeah, Alex has joined us a few times. I always enjoy talking to them. They're um, one of my favorite human beings, <laughs> uh, full stop. Um, and any any excuse. And we are trying to get trying to do more discussions mm-hmm. as well. I've got some more ideas for some um, ones for later, but I think we are going to hit a lot of topical things that we're going to have to cover soon. <laughs> um, so we'll still sort of retain that reactive um, nature of, of our podcast. Yeah. But that's still cool. That's still fine. I love talking about what's current. I love talking about the current releases. I love the fact that there are current releases we, for us yeah. to talk about. We are after all these years. Honestly, as much as we're griping about 
Alien Day not being substantial enough, we are eating good right now. Like, we just had a good Predator movie. There's another two on the way, apparently. Mm-hmm. An alien, Our first Alien series is filming. That comes out next year. We have an Alien movie coming out this year. We have the first major Alien VR title. There's still books coming. There's still comics coming. Like, it's not a bad time to be a fan. I still think we're going to get another Audible at some point. I sure hope so. That would be nice. One was teased. One was teased. So it's just a matter of when. That wasn't just you reading into things? Maybe they no, were... I, I'm sure it wasn't <laughs> me reading into things. But no. Anything else to gripe or love or... I just hope to see those stompers soon, man. Like you can't, you can't drop a tease on us like that and not give us those shoes. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I brought two pairs because I couldn't fucking work out the conversion of American to English feet sizes. The first one <laughs> I ended up buying was far too small. The, the current pair I have just about fit me. Um, but if they'd have dropped this, um, if they'd have dropped more, I was planning on buying another pair that was the next size or one more, mm-hmm. just so it'd be a bit more comfortable. But they are such a fucking cool shoes. Yeah. Fucking cool shoes. But yeah, damn you, Reebok, for that tease. That was <laughs> that was cruel. At least what that was. we have to assume what is coming. So I don't know. May, maybe when Romulus comes Why would out, they say so. something like that if they wouldn't? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a marketing expert. I probably fucking could be. But I'm not. Uh, but yeah. Before we gripe more. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to whore us? Sure. So if you'd like to uh, see How our can main... that catch you every time? <laughs> I use that turn a phrase every time um if you like that's to see what our... it feels like yeah it does feel like that but it's why it's funny um if you'd like to see our main hub of activity it's our website which is avpgalaxy.net where we have all the latest news of the franchises editorials interviews all sorts of good stuff you could also chat with our community members and our old school message boards so check that out we're also on all the major uh, social channels facebook x instagram and threads and again, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support what we do at AVP Galaxy, check out patreon.com forward slash AVP Galaxy. Indeed. If you want to follow me personally, I'm at underscore Corporal Hicks on X only. And if you'd like to follow me personally, it's at RidgeTop21 on both X and Instagram. Indeed. And thank you, everybody, for, with, uh, for watching or listening, depending on how we release this. Um, stick with us this year, the next few months, because I'm sure July. Um, it's it's the calm before be fucking expiring. Yeah, yeah, it's the calm before the storm. I think. Indeed. Well, this has been Corporal Hicks and Ridge Top signing off. <laughs>